listeners, friends, would like to say a few words. We're going to start with Dylan Deshawn and Skyla Engel King. I'm Dylan, and Skyla and I are going to read a poem titled Where I'm From that Alyssa wrote. Where I'm From by Alyssa Altavelli. I am from the bas baseball from the glove and bat. I am from the backyard, concrete, spacious. It had many activities. I am from the orchard, the baby palm tree who's prickling a hole in every ball. I am from holiday parties and competition from John, Al John and Carrie. I am from comedians, I am from athletes, from let's go outside and stay off of electronics. I am from Christians, children of God, and ones raised in a church. I am from Robert Young in Newport Beach, spaghetti and coffee, from the heart surgery of my father, the loss of my gram, my grandma's separated by the, my dad's birthday, the rafter above my garage where a where a container of rustic photos sit day after day. I am from those moments, stopped before I budded, leaf fall from the family tree. Another uh, round of applause for Dylan and Skyla, thank you. And now we have Riley and Sammy next. Alyssa always had a smile on her face. She was always happy and made life so much fun. She was passionate about basketball, her family, and her friends. She believed in working hard to achieve her goals. She had dreams and, pla and planned to achieve them all. Alyssa was the type of person that lived life to the fullest every day. Most importantly, she was so supportive. She was the girl that high-fived you after a goal or making a basket. She was always there to celebrate your successes and was happy to do it. I will miss, I will miss Alyssa, her smile, and her amazing attitude. But I know she will always be watching over us, cheering us on. Um, hi, I'm Sammy. Thank you guys for all coming out to support Alyssa. Um, if you met Alyssa, the first thing you would notice was her big smile. She had an infectious laugh that would always fill the room. One thing I learned from Alyssa was to bring your best to every game, whether it was in sports or in school. She had the hardest work ethic out of everyone I've ever known. Alyssa lived across the street from me, and every day after school I would see her practicing basketball. She never stopped. She was devoted to the game and her teammates. She ha had even talked about turning her room into a basketball court. That's how passionate she was about basketball. Alyssa was super caring. She was an avid animal lover. In sixth grade, she, brought, she thought the turtles in the science classroom were being mistreated, so she took them home and took care of them. This shows how big of a heart she had. Alyssa always did her best, even when no one was watching. She had the best attitude and always worked her hardest. I'm going to do my best to truly live like Lissa. Although she only got 14 years of life, I'm glad she lived it to the fullest. So please tell your loved ones you love them and keep them close to you, because life can always turn at any moment. I love you, Alyssa, and we'll always miss you. Thank you, Riley and Sammy. Next up, we have Ellie Robinson. Ellie and Avery together? OK. Alyssa Altavelli, is it, is it on? It's on, right? I can't see it. <laughs> it is? Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> um, Alyssa Altavelli was more than a basketball player. Alyssa was my best friend. She was so funny, beautiful, and never failed to brighten my day. Um, I would sometimes uh, straighten my hair and I'd ask her if it looked okay, and she would just say it's stunning, which is the biggest compliment coming from the prettiest girl I know. She's been by my side for a long time, and all this time still didn't feel like enough. She completes me and understands me in a way that no one else can. Whenever somebody would do something stupid or funny in class, we'd always look at each other, no matter how far apart our desks were. I loved her with all my heart, and still do. I miss seeing her smile, hearing her laugh, playing on the court with her, and listening to all the weird stories she would tell me. She talked about becoming a veterinarian and told us all about lemurs and koalas that she hoped to visit in, in Australia. She didn't go out much, but once she did, she was the funnest to be around. Alyssa would always find something creative and different to bake from a video that she watched, and she would occasionally bring it to practice, but she usually just enjoyed it by herself. I also remember we went to go see Frozen 2, and she fell in love with the song Lost in the Woods. Mr. Altavelli and Alyssa would always sing it on the way to practice, and even during practice, we'd sometimes sing it to each other. 
It's crazy to think that now I'll be lost in the woods without her. <laughs> um, even though she's gone, she's still with us, and she always will be. She'll never be forgotten as long as we keep telling her stories and continuing her legacy. I still feel like I'm going to see her at practice or the next day class, but I know she is watching over me from above. This tragedy has taught us that time is fragile. I plan to stay with Lissa until the end, but I didn't know the end would be so soon. Cherish the ones you love and live with no regrets. Live like a Lissa. Hi, my name's Avery, and I'm going to be reading a quote that we all agreed kind of symbolizes the situation. Life is amazing, and then it's awful, and then it's amazing again. And in between the amazing and awful, it's ordinary, and mundane and routine. Breathe in the amazing, hold on through the awful, and relax and exhale during the ordinary. That's just living, heartbreaking, soul healing, amazing, awful, ordinary life. And it's breathtakingly beautiful. Another round of applause for our guest speakers. Thank you, ladies. All right, and now we will be releasing nine lanterns here today, one for each life lost. We will prepare the lanterns at this time. Thank you. If you've been asked to help with the lanterns, come up at this time and we'll get them prepared and send them off.
trapped in there, girls. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for that beautiful send-off here this evening. We're now going to have DJ Henry over here play some of Alyssa's favorite songs in her memory. And of course, in Alyssa's honor here today, we say Go Ducks.
This is lost in the woods, everyone. Enjoy.
Sound check audio test one two. Sound check one two audio test one two two. Any chance we can back up a little so it's not quite so loud? night designed to bring some clarity out of the confusion that these teens have been living with since Sunday. Alyssa's uh, can I give somebody roll cues? to the VO since Sunday. Uh, roll cue to the sound. He came because of a death pushed aside to remember. Uh, this one, a friend to all. Since Sunday. 